lot to say. Niggas lost their faith in me. Feel me? Take a minute to look at my eyes You can see it all over my face You can tell that I've been through a lot I don't know how much more I could take Why the fuck they keep spreading these lies? I can't lie, I've been feeling betrayed Nigga, I really thought you would ride Till you started moving like a snake Oh, I can't lie, I've been feeling betrayed How you say you my dog, but you hate Always good, I'ma stay in my lane Give a fuck what these niggas gonna say Lord knows I've been feeling We back in Harlem, baby My expectations are through the roof And I know they gonna deliver, man This is your boy, comedian Dave Lester, a.k.a. Mr. More Than Funny on Instagram. I'm here to be, I'm here at the, the soft opening of the, of the Thompson Studios Comedy Club. I'm really excited, man. We're gonna have a great time. Wish you were here. Say, man, you gotta get out and you gotta get in it, get in these rooms and watch how it's done. You gotta watch how it's done. You gotta watch the audience. You gotta watch the comic. You have to watch the exchange like anything else. The biggest challenge is deciding to do it and stay doing it like anything else. We gonna have a really great show. Comedy Cool with Christine rocking out. With my man Omar, the legend. We doing a soft opening tonight in Harlem, 125 Street, and we're gonna tear it down tonight. My man Omar, he's um opening up his um new establishment as you can see. This spot will be used for photo shoots, um, podcasts, comedy shows, live band and everything. So we wanted to give him a little hand tonight. You see, you hear the clean jokes out there, man. My inspiration, man, struggling. Hear my mom pray in the morning. That's why I got the influence for them jokes, man. Yeah, because if I wasn't going to be that, I was going to be a pastor. Yeah, I mean, and starting off, man, you got to do stuff like this. Because I wasn't even supposed to be on the show tonight, man. I popped up. Omar was like, yo, you trying to go up? And that's how I work, man. Coming, man. I got a lot of stuff coming. I got a comedy album coming out called Hope for the City. It'll be out in the next month, man. But keep looking out for your boy. Your boy going to be doing some big things in a minute. You know what I'm saying? When you got a gift and you find your purpose, you can't do nothing but move in that, walk in that truth. You know what I'm saying? You walk in your life. So that's my purpose, man. It's about making people laugh. And you know, if I could take a minute and change your day and, and laughter, then I've done my job. And that's all I mean. That, that, that's, that means the world in me in, in itself. Man, it's good to see my people laugh, man. And out here, have, we having a good time. Nobody is trying to hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? We need to have more love and unity versus violence. There's so much violence out here in our communities. We gotta show each other how we love each other and love on each other. If we ain't loving on each other, we ain't never gonna get nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what you've done. None of that. If you ain't loving on your people, then you ain't doing you ain't doing nothing. You got to love on your people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I'm passionate about that for real. So energy in the room right now. I need your hands. 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 Your hands. Come into the stage, my girl, and I've known this girl for 16 years before we were comedians. Tony Bird, this is her birthday coming. Fuck that, this is your fuck. That's the real 
Pele Pele. I don't know what that is. He put that shit together. And then this girl said he got with his wife and said, yo, ma, I need you to point this shit out. Just add this and add that and shit. You know what I'm saying? If you got a chick that know how to sew, you got a good woman. You got a girl that know how to sew, so what? You got a good woman. Hold up. Come here. <laughs> I need my shit laid the fuck out. I'm just saying, y'all. Uh, wow. Public service announcement. This menopause got me fucked up. Uh, uh, this shit got me fucked up. Uh, 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 nah, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm, at, I'm in the house acting like a girl, for real, for real. I'm in the field, though. I'm feeling none of this shit. I, I went the other, yo, the other day, I went and got me a pair of thorns. I said, fuck it up. I need experience, huh? Because I was in there switching this shit. I said, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm in the house switching. You know, it's not right. I've been gay a long time. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Ti and Jay Z. Hey. Can you cue that up for me? You know which one it is. All right. Um, I I can't get over there with those. It's a little tight crowd in here. It's COVID strong in here right now. But I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. I got more to say, but I'm not gonna say much more than what I already said. If you got that for me.